Okay, so in this video, we're gonna solve our first order non-homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficients. So it can be represented by the following vector equation. So we have vector y prime equals this matrix, minus four, minus three, six, five, times vector y plus this vector valued function. So we have two up here, minus two e to the t down here. Now we're given an initial condition that y evaluated at zero is this vector one, three. And we're gonna use this using the Laplace transform. So just as a reminder, the Laplace transform of a vector valued function is just um, the Laplace transform evaluated at each of the components of that vector valued function. So, and we're also gonna use this fact down here that if you take the Laplace transform of a derivative, you get S times the Laplace transform of the original function minus that original function evaluated at zero. So what we'll do is we'll apply the Laplace transform to this derivative and that will give us the following. Sorry, this differential equation. So that's going to give us S times Y uh, capital vector. So that would be like this part minus y evaluated at zero, so there we've done that, and now we have, this is the um, matrix minus four, minus three, six, five. Now we apply the Laplace transform to this, giving us capital Y, we're using that notation. Now we apply the Laplace transform to this vector valued function, so we get two over S for the first component, because the Laplace transform of two is two over S, and then for this guy we get minus two, over S minus one. So that's the Laplace transform of E to the T. Okay, now we're good. Now um, what we'll do is we'll replace this initial condition with what we know it is. So that's gonna give us um, S times, now I'm gonna write this as the identity matrix times Y in order to make it look like this guy over here. Um, minus one, three equals, now this matrix minus four, minus three, six, five times y vector um, equals this two over s minus two over s minus one. So that's what we have. Okay, now I'm gonna move this to the right hand side and this term to the left hand side. And so notice, as I move this term to the left-hand side, I'm going to add these uh, matrices. So notice this is the matrix um, S, 0, 0, S, like that. So that's going to give us the following. So that will give us S plus 4, and then uh, 3, and then here we have minus 6, and then S minus five. So that's what we get from subtracting this matrix from this matrix, and then we have that as all multiplied by Y. Okay, great. Now when we move that over, we'll have the following vector. So we'll have two over S plus one, and then we'll have minus two over S minus one plus three. Okay, good. So the next thing that we can do is say that y, in other words, the Laplace transform of our solution will be given by the inverse of this matrix times this vector. So let's write that down. So that's gonna be s plus four, three minus six, s minus five inverse times this vector two over S minus one, minus two over S minus one plus three. Okay, good. So now I'll clean up the board, I'll move this part to the top, and then we'll find our final solution. Okay, so let's see, I move this up from the bottom, so we have Y equals the inverse of this matrix times this vector. So let's see if we can calculate the inverse of this matrix pretty easily. So notice it's gonna be one over the determinant. So notice the determinant will be AD minus BC, so it'll be one over S plus four times S minus five, and then plus 18. So that's what we get for that determinant. And now we need to switch A and D, so that'll be S minus five, S plus four, and then negate B and C, so that'll be minus three, six. So there I use the formula for the inverse of a matrix. And now we have uh, two over S plus one, minus two over S minus one plus three. 
So we're left with something like that. So at this point, it's just like a little bit of arithmetic to combine this together into one vector equation. So let's see if we can do that pretty easily. Okay, so there we've got that after multiplying out the inverse of this matrix with that vector, we get this big thing. But now let's sketch out what we need to do from here. So we need to multiply this one over s times s minus one times s plus one times s minus two into these two terms. That gives us a vector where we have a rational function up here and a rational function down there. And then from there, we'll want to use partial fractions on those rational functions. So that's a lot of work, and it's something that you should know how to do pretty well by now um, at the end of a differential equations class. So let's just do that real quick as well. Okay, so after a lengthy partial fraction decomposition, or to be honest, just using the apart function in Mathematica, we're left with this uh, vector equation. So we have the Laplace transform of our solution is equal to one over S minus two, this vector minus three, six, plus one over S minus one, this vector minus three, five, plus this vector one over S times uh, five, minus six, and then finally one over s plus one times the vector two minus two. So now we can apply the inverse Laplace transform and that will give us our solution. So notice that inverse Laplace transform of this guy will be e to the two t, and then we have this vector. And then the inverse Laplace transform of this is e to the t, and then again we have the same vector, minus 3, 5. The inverse Laplace transform of that is just the number 1, so that will give us 5 minus 6. And then finally, the inverse Laplace transform of this last bit is e to the minus t, so that will give us 2 minus 2. And that's the final solution to this problem.